to help unravel the secrets of Mariano Rivera's cutter, we enlisted pitching coach Tom House, who's worked with greats like Nolan Ryan and Randy Johnson. He's got four or five different pitches that all come out of the same exact tunnel. The visual on all four or five of his pitches look like fastball and become something else. One way hitters identify a pitch is by gauging a pitcher's arm angle. Rivera's remarkably consistent arm slot, varying less than two degrees, helps disguise the type of pitch he's thrown. Another way hitters try to identify pitches is by spin. Rivera's four-seam fastball leaves his hand at 90-plus miles an hour, rotating at roughly 1,500 RPM along a vertical axis, adjusting his grip by a few millimeters, literally a stitch or two, and altering fingertip pressure. Rivera's cutter leaves his hand just as fast, but spins on a tilted axis at up to 1,600 RPM. Spin creates pressure differentials in the airflow on each side of a ball, and the ball curves toward the lower pressure zone. This phenomenon is known as the Magnus effect, and the faster the spin, the greater the curve. To a batter's eye, the spin and velocity of Rivera's cutter look like his standard fastball. But since hitters only have about 17 hundredths of a second to correctly identify a pitch, they're usually wrong. By the time Rivera's cutter reaches the plate, it's moved laterally up to eight inches. And the majority of that movement is in the last 10 feet of the ball's flight. At that point, the human eye is physically unable to actually see a ball traveling that fast. And even if a hitter makes contact, it's virtually impossible for him to get the roughly four-inch sweet spot of the bat on the ball. But the biggest problem for hitters might be their lack of experience facing Rivera. Most hitters face about 2,300 pitches in a season, but they'll be lucky if they see a handful of Rivera's cutters. Although lucky might not be the right word. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Briggs.